And by the way, they know all of this. Any, 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 um, any sophisticated investor <laughs> will have heard this before. And they'll want to know what your split is and what your criteria is. And the most popular one today is internal rate of return. If this is yours, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's suppose we expect this deal to last for seven years. We're, we're hoping to sell it at the end of seven years at a, at a particular price and so forth. <clears throat> and this is all, we're all constructing this in advance. It's just... But you never sell it. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I never sell it. And what we do is we'll, 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 we'll split on, let's suppose that we, our tiers are 80-20, uh, 65-35, and 50-50. And the sponsor will increase its take to, to the next level whenever a certain criteria has passed. Now, pr criteria that sponsorships have used in the past include how much or what percentage of his capital has been returned. So in other words, sometimes maybe when half of his cash has been returned, we'll go to 65-35. And when all of his cash is returned, we'll go to 50-50. That's one way to do it. It's not very often done now. Another way would be to say, um, when, uh, um, well, in the in the old days, it was just there was one tier. There were two, you know, one two tiers. You got one percent <laughs> until you, the other guy got uh, until the investors got all their money back, and then you got fifty percent. That's a two tier deal. The the deals more are more like this now: eighty five twenty five or seventy thirty or something like that is the first tier. Uh, along about 60-40 might be the second tier, and 50-50 would be the the uh, big tier. And the and and the 50-50 is almost always kicking in only when they've got all their money back, only when they've got all their investment back. And and there are some kickers. Sometimes that includes the preferred return. Other times it doesn't. Most many times a, a big if it's an institutional investor, it won't. Institutions say no, no, no. I get, and, but they'll take a, a smaller dividend. They'll say, I get seven percent right off the top, cumulative preferred return. Okay, and that doesn't count against getting my money back. That's return on my investment. Makes perfect sense, right? Luckily, they're not all like that. <laughs> But so so you've got to be able to to calculate whether he gets his money his his. Um, Preferred return, whether his preferred return counts against the um, repayment of his capital or not, and you'll you'll have a, a specialized tool to to help determine that. Um, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Really to see the line. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to show you a, 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 an instrument in a little bit. Um, but the one that's most used now is called the internal rate of return method. And this is a kind of a projection, a backward projection, uh, the way most people do it. <coughs> if we sell it in year six, then we look backwards to see what the IRR was in year one, what it was in year two, what it was in year three, what it was in year four. What it, you know what internal rate of return means. Okay? If you don't, that'll be a separate issue. But, and, and, and we'll backtrack and pay the sponsor what he should have gotten if we had sold it in year three when the IRR was 18%, then the sponsor would have gotten a different return. We'll, we'll plan on these tiers. So we'll look, we'll project what the IRR will be in year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, year six, year seven. And that, when we say project, we'll project that for our pro forma when we're showing people. But in fact, at the end of every year, we'll say, okay, we presume 
that because we looked around at the comps that the property would sell for four million dollars this year and our expenses are going to be about eight percent three hundred twenty thousand dollars so we would get three point seven three point six eight million dollars we have to pay off our five million dollar loan so there's a million eight left that would give you all of your initial investment back plus this big hunk of money that we split 50 50. okay and so so every year you make that projection so that you know what the investors IRR should be now when it, in terms of paying out the money you do the use the actuals at the end of every year you get an appraisal you decide how much it would sell for by a pre-agreed on a pre-agreed basis <coughs> and you um, you split the pie that way any questions about that